the law of one unabridged transcription of contact between the L and L group in registered trademark and the social memory complex known as RAW. Session 20 I am RAW. I greet you in the love and the light of the infinite creator. I communicate now. Questioner, I was thinking the best way to do the book is to continue working on the history of evolution and its mechanism until we completely make it through the third density and what will occur into the first part of the fourth density so that the mechanisms of developing the mind body body spirit complex will be brought out. If I get stymied some place in one of these sessions as to what questions to ask and where not to waste time I may ask some questions that I will use later in the book, but will try to always continue along these lines. First question, to go back just a little bit, is what happened to the second density entities who were on this planet who were unharvestable I assume there were some that didn't make the harvest into the third density. Can you tell me this? I am raw. The second density is able to repeat during third density a portion of its cycle. Questioner, then the second density entities that did not get harvested at the beginning of this 75,000 year period. Some are still in second density on this planet. Were any of these who remained in second density harvested into third density in the past 75,000 years? I am raw. This has been increasingly true. Questioner, so more and more second density entities are making it into third density. Can you give me an example of a second density entity coming into third density, say, in the recent past? I am raw. Perhaps the most common occurrence of second density graduation during third density cycle is the so-called pet the animal which is exposed to the individualizing influences of the bond between animal and third density entity, this individuation causes a sharp rise in the potential of the second density entity so that upon the cessation of physical complex the mind-body complex does not return onto the undifferentiated consciousness of that species, if you will. Questioner, then can you give me an example of an entity in third density that was just previously a second density entity? What type of entity do they become here? I am raw. As a second density entity returns as third density for the beginning of this process of learning, the entity is equipped with the lowest, if you will so call these vibrational distortions, forms of third density consciousness. That is, equipped with self-consciousness. Questioner. This would be a human in our form then who would be beginning the understandings of third density. Is this correct? I am raw. This is correct. Questioner, speaking of the rapid change that occurred in the physical vehicle, the change from second to third density, this, you said, occurred in approximately a generation and a half. Body hair was lost and there were structural changes. I am aware of the physics of Dewey B. Larson, who states that all is motion or vibration. Am I correct in assuming that the basic vibration, which makes up the physical world as we experience it, changes, thus creating a different set of parameters, shall I say, in this short period of time between density changes allowing for the new type of vehicle? Am I correct? I am raw. This is correct. Questioner, just as a sideline, a side question here, is the physics of Dewey Larson correct? I am raw. A physics of sound vibrational complex Dewey is a correct system as far as it is able to go. There are those things which are not included in this system. However, those coming after this particular entity, using the basic concepts of vibration and a study of vibrational distortions, will begin to understand that which you know of as gravity and those things you consider as n dimensions. These things are necessary to be included in a more universal, shall we say, physical theory. Questioner, was this entity, Dewey, then, did he bring this material through in his incarnation for use primarily in fourth density? I am raw. This is correct. Questioner, thank you. Yesterday we were speaking of the split that takes place in third density when an entity either consciously or because of bias chooses the path of service to others or service to self. The philosophical question of why such a split even exists came up. It is my impression that as it is in electricity, if we have no polarity in electricity we have no electricity. We have no action, we have no. Therefore, I am assuming that in consciousness without such polarity there would be no action or experience. Is this correct? This is correct. You may use the general term work. Questioner, then the concept of service to self or service to others is mandatory if we wish to have work. Whether it be work in consciousness or work in the mechanical or Newtonian concept in the physical. Is this correct? I am raw. This is correct with one addendum. The coil, 
as you may understand this term, is wound, is potential, is ready. The thing that is missing without polarizing is the charge. Questioner, then the charge is provided by individualized consciousness. Is this correct? I am raw. The charge is provided by the individualized entity using the inpourings and in streamings of energy by the choices of free will. Questioner, Thank you. As soon as the third density started 75,000 years ago and we have incarnate third density entities, what was the average human lifespan at that time? I am raw. At the beginning of this particular portion of your space-time continuum the average lifetime was approximately 900 of your years. Questioner, did the average lifespan grow longer or shorter as we progress on into third density experience? I am raw. There is a particular use for this span of life in this density and, Given the harmonious development of the learning teachings of this density, the lifespan of the physical complex would remain the same throughout the cycle. However, your particular planetary sphere developed vibrations by the second major cycle which shortened the lifespan dramatically. Questioner, assuming a major cycle is 25,000 years, at the end of the first 25,000 year cycle, how long was the lifespan? The lifespan at the end of the first cycle which you call major was approximately 700 of your years. Questioner, then in 25,000 years we lost 200 years of lifespan. Is this correct? I am raw. This is correct. Questioner, can you tell me the reason for this shortening of lifespan? I am raw. The causes of this shortening are always an enophonious or inharmonious relational vibration between other selves. In the first cycle this was not severe but due to the dispersion of peoples and the growing feeling complex distortions towards separateness from other selves. Questioner, I'm assuming at the start of one of these cycles there could have been either a positive polarization that would generally occur over the 25 thousand years or a negative polarization is the reason for the negative polarization and the shortening of the cycle the influx of entities from Mars who had already polarized somewhat negatively I am raw this is incorrect there was not a strong negative polarization due to this influx the lessening of the lifespan was due primarily to the lack of the building up of positive orientation when there is no progress those conditions which grant progress are gradually lost this is one of the difficulties of remaining unpolarized the chances shall we say, of progress becomes steadily less. Questioner, the way I understand it, at the beginning of this 75,000 year cycle, then, we have a mixture of entities those who have graduated from second density on Earth to become third density and then a group of entities transferred from the planet Mars to incarnate into third density here. Is this correct? I am raw. This is correct. Questioner, what continue? You must remember that those transferred to this sphere were in the middle of their third density so that this third density was an adaptation rather than a beginning. Questioner, thank you. What percentage of the entities, roughly, were who were in third density here at the time were Martian and what percentage were harvested out of Earth's second density? I am raw. There were perhaps one half of the third density population being entities from the red planet, Mars as you call it. Perhaps one quarter from second density of your planetary sphere. Approximately one quarter from other sources, other planetary spheres whose entities chose this planetary sphere for third density work. Questioner, when they incarnated here did they mix did all three of these types mix together in societies or groups or were they separated by group or society? I am raw. They remained largely unmixed. Questioner, then did this unmixing lend to a possibility of separation of group? Then, or the possibility of warlike attitude between groups? I am raw. This is correct. Questioner, did this then help to reduce the lifespan? I am raw. This did reduce the lifespan, as you call it. Questioner, can you tell me why 900 years is the optimum lifespan? I am raw. The mind-body-spirit complex of third density has perhaps 100 times as intensive a program of catalytic action from which to distill distortions and learn teachings than any other of the densities. Thus the learned teachings are most confusing to the mind-body-spirit complex which is, shall we say, inundated by the ocean of experience. During the first, shall we say, perhaps 150 to 200 of your years as you measure time, a mind-body-spirit complex is going through the process of a spiritual childhood, the mind and the body not enough in a disciplined configuration to lend clarity to the spiritual influxes. Thus, the remaining time span is given to optimize the understandings which result from experience itself. Questioner, then at present it would seem that our lifespan is much too short for those who are new to third density lessons. Is this correct? I am raw. This is correct. Those entities which have, in some way, 
learned taught themselves the appropriate distortions for rapid growth can now work within the confines of the shorter lifespan. However, the greater preponderance of your entities find themselves in what may be considered a perpetual childhood. Questioner, thank you. Now, back in the first 25,000 year period, or major cycle, what type of aid was given by the Confederation to the entities who were in this 25,000 year period so that they could have the opportunity to grow? I am Rule. The Confederation members which dwell in inner plane existence within the planetary complex of vibratory densities worked with these entities. There was also the aid of one of the Confederation which worked with those of Mars in making the transition. For the most part, the participation was limited, as it was appropriate to allow the full travel of the workings of the confusion mechanism to operate in order for the planetary entities to develop that which they wished in, shall we say, freedom within their own thinking. It is often the case that a third density planetary cycle will take place in such a way that there need be no outside, shall we say, or other self-aid in the form of information. Rather, the entities themselves are able to work themselves towards the appropriate polarizations and goals of third density learned teachings. Questioner, I will make this assumption, then, if maximum efficiency had been achieved in this 25,000 year period the entities would have polarized either towards service towards self or service to others, one or the other. This would have then made them harvestable at the end of that 25,000 year period to either service to self or service to others type of fourth density, in which case they would have had to move to another planet because this one would have been in third density for 50 more thousand years. Is this correct? I am wrong. Let us entangle your assumption which is complex and correct in part. The original desire is that entities seek and become one. If entities can do this in a moment, they may go forward in a moment, and, thus, were this to occur in a major cycle, indeed, the third density planet would be vacated at the end of that cycle. It is, however, more toward the median or mean, shall we say, of third density developments throughout the one infinite universe that there be a small harvest after the first cycle. The remainder having significantly polarized, the second cycle having a much larger harvest. The remainder being even more significantly polarized, the third cycle culminating the process and the harvest being completed. Questioner, very good. Then, was the confederation, shall we say, watching to see and expecting to see a harvest at the end of the 25,000 year period in which a percentage would be harvestable fourth density positive and a percentage harvestable fourth density negative? I am wrong. This is correct. You may see our role in the first major cycle as that of the gardener who, knowing the season, is content to wait for the spring. When the springtime does not occur, the seeds do not sprout. Then it is that the gardener must work in the garden. Questioner, am I to understand, then? There was neither a harvestable entities of positive or negative polarity at the end of that 25,000 years. I am wrong. This is correct. Those whom you call the Orion group made one attempt to offer information to those of third density during that cycle. However, the information did not fall upon the ears of any who were concerned to follow this path to polarity. Questioner. What technique did the Orion group use to give this information? I am wrong. The technique used was of two kinds. One the thought transfer or what you may call telepathy. 2. The arrangement of certain stones in order to suggest strong influences of power, this being those of statues and of rock formations in your Pacific areas, as you now call them, and to an extent in your Central American regions, as you now understand them. Questioner, are you speaking in part of the stone heads of Easter Island? I am wrong. This is correct. Questioner, how would such stone heads influence a people to take the path of service to self? I am wrong. Picture, if you will, the entities living in such a way that their mind-body-spirit complexes are at what seems to be the mercy of forces which they cannot control. Given a charged entity such as a statue or a rock formation charged with nothing but power, it is possible for the free will of those viewing this particular structure or formation to ascribe to this power, power over those things which cannot be controlled. This, then, has the potential for the further distortion to power over other selves. Questioner, how were these stone heads constructed? I am wrong. These were constructed by thought after a scanning of the deep mind, the trunk of mind tree, looking at the images most likely to cause the experience of awe in the viewer. Questioner, well, then, did Orion entities do this themselves? Did they, did they land in physical, or did they do it from mental planes? 
Or did they use one of the incarnate entities to construct these by thought? I am wrong. Nearly all of these structures and formations were constructed at a distance by thought. A very few were created in later times in imitation of original constructs by entities upon your earth plane density. Questioner, what density Orion entity did the creation of these heads? I am wrong. The fourth density, the density of love or understanding was the density of the particular entity which offered this possibility to those of your first major cycle. Questioner, you use the same nomenclature for fourth density negative as for fourth density positive. Both are called the dimension of love or understanding. Is this correct? I am wrong. This is correct. Love and understanding, whether it be of self or of self towards other self, is one. Questioner, now, what was the approximate date in years past of the construction of these heads? I am wrong. This approximately was 6 0, 60,000, 60,000, of your years in the past time space of your continuum. Questioner, what structures were built in South America? I am wrong. In this location were fashioned some characteristic statues, some formations of what you call rock and some formations involving rock and earth. Questioner, were the lines at NASA included in this? I am wrong. This is correct. Questioner, since this can only be seen from an altitude, of what benefit was this? I am wrong. The formations were of benefit because charged with energy of power. Questioner, I'm a little confused. These lines at NASA are hardly understandable for an entity walking on the surface. He cannot see anything but a disruption of the surface. However, if you go up to a high altitude you can see the patterns. How was it of benefit to the entities walking on the surface? I am wrong. At the remove of the amount of time space which is now your present it is difficult to perceive that at the time space 60,000, 60,000 years ago the earth was formed in such a way as to be visibly arranged in powerful structural designs, from the vantage point of distant hills. Questioner, in other words at the time there were hills overlooking these lines? I am wrong. This will be the final full question of this session. The entire smoothness, as you see this area now, was built up in many places in hills. The time-space continuum has proceeded with wind and weather, as you would say, to erode to a great extent both the somewhat formidable structures of earth designed at that time and the nature of the surrounding countryside. Questioner, I think I understand then. Then these lines are just the faint traces of what used to be there. I am wrong. This is correct. Questioner, thank you. We need to know whether or not it is possible to continue with another session later today and if there is anything we can do to make the instrument more comfortable. I am wrong. It is possible. We ask that you observe carefully the alignment of the instrument. Otherwise, you are conscientious. Is there any short query before we close? Questioner, I intend in the next session to focus on the development of the positively oriented entities in the first 25,000 years. I know that you can't make suggestions, but this seems to me to be the... I hope that I am going in the right path in investigating the entire development and influences in the history of our third density. Can you give me any comment on this at all? I am wrong. The choices are yours according to your discernment. I am wrong. I leave you in the love and the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth. Therefore, rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one creator, Adonai, and of session 20.